is up guys so today i'm back with another video and today i'm gonna talk about my first impression of the new super 73 electric bicycle so if you guys haven't been familiar with this bicycle it is basically an electric bicycle so you do less work pedaling but before i get into the first impression of this new electric bicycle by super 73 Please make sure you subscribe, like, comment and share for more videos like this and subscribe because a lot of you guys are watching and are not subscribed. So let's get right into the video. So Super Soft new electric bike is available for pre-order as of January the 25th, 2020. So you can currently go and pre-order this at the time you're watching it and it is expected to be shipped by spring. So you will get it in time for the warm weather so you don't have to worry if it's gonna come before summer it's definitely gonna come to your house before the summer season come comes around so as you can see i'm currently on their website right here and the first thing you see is the new electric moto bike which is basically a a bicycle on with 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 uh, i would say more work but less work so you pedal say you pedal one time it would be like three pedal with the mot with the motor on and pushing the bike giving it like say you do one pedal that would be like three pedal because of the motor that is in the bike so it is pretty good and it is pretty re reliable you can definitely ride this bike to work and be on time i think it it would be on the speed of basically um say you live in the city it would be perfect for city because you know in the cities you don't go more than like 20 miles per hour because you have to be stopping in traffic and all those stuff but let me get into some of the specs so here you can see it is currently at two thousand nine hundred and ninety five dollars the original price is three thousand four hundred and ninety five so i'm guessing because you're pre-ordering it you're getting for a cheaper price i'm guessing that's what happened and here you see it is available for pre-orders as i said january the 25 and you can get it at two thousand nine hundred and ninety five dollars and it is expected to be delivered by spring 2020 and for so far you get it in a gray color which is basically gray and uh, i would say lime lime green or yellowish and then you can get it in the gray and black and the red which i think is pretty cool i know a lot of youtubers are going to choose this bike over this one right here this one looks like a more sport bike this one seems more laid back to me but personally i will go with this one right here because i like the green color on it but let's get into more specs oh before we get into the specs let me take a look at some more pictures of how the bike look so you can see the framework is pretty good you see this right here it's not i don't think it's a gas tank so you guys might be believing that this is a gas tank no it's not a gas tank i think this is where all the electronics are stored and i think the motors are actually here and there are no motors on the front but this is this is not the traditional brakes it is the brakes that you find on motorcycles you know those brakes with the mineral eyes i guess that's what it used and not traditional brakes as you guys can see the tires are big so it is it is durable on all road surfaces you guys can see the tires are pretty look look durable and strong for whether the terrain be flat or hilly so there's more pictures of the bike and i think the design is pretty simple but i think it should get this job done and the the the, the super 73 is the most powerful and technolo technological advanced drive system with a multi-class ride mode this performance vehicle is a street legal electric bike that does not require license or registration so if you guys are wondering if i'm if would i need to go down to the dmv with this and stand in a line and wait no you basically just pre-order this bike and you can ride it to work especially if you live in the city and you want to go to work real fast you don't want to take a cab or take the subway this can pretty much get you to work even faster than the subway and 
the cars i think this is a perfect bike for people who live in the new york area and do want to buy a car because a car don't really make sense when you live in the city so the rx also features with with super 73 all new electronic suit that is compatible with apple and android devices through the new super 73 app so here are some more specs so it is an aluminum alloyed frame and it is basically comes in what is calm red rhino gray i'm guessing that's what the type of red is and the type of gray is and it comes with suspension so you get a decently comfortable ride while you're riding on the road so if you go in a part well, it should be pretty much fine and this design is top notch it is not just one of those um motors um electric bike i think this is like the tesla of of electric bikes yes this is definitely like the tesla for electric bikes so think about that that is high quality right there and the motor the all r r series motorbikes are driven by a powerful internal geared brushless dc hub motor capable of outputting up to 200 watt of a peak power that is so powerful guys and it is dc so clearly it has to be dc because it is it, it, it is required to be charged and the battery so that thing that you see that seems like it is a gas tank it is not a gas tank it is the battery and the battery is powered by it is powered by a, a state-of-the-art nine nine hundred and sixty watt hour battery the largest in the segment this provide an estimate of 40 plus miles so that is pretty much good enough to take you to work say you live in the city as i said and when you go to work you can always charge it so when you live 30 miles away you can always still go and ride this to work and you'll park it and you'll charge it at work if you can charge it in the break room or whatever wherever just need a plug and you plug it in and you can go up to speeds of 20 miles an hour and it if you go no if you go up to 20 miles per hour it is estimated to be 75 miles so you have a eco mode and you have i guess a sports mode so the slower you go the more it it will last and bear in mind if the battery dies you can still pedal and make it function like a regular bicycle so that's what pretty cool about this bike if it fails the battery fails or the battery dies it won't leave you on the road like a tesla would or another electric vehicle road this is basically a hybrid so it's still physical and electrical um energy i would say and it comes with a headlight the headlight is led which is pretty clean and it has an internal cable routing the brakes as i said the brakes are pretty powerful and yeah the brakes should stop you instantly it shouldn't take too long to to stop and the tires the tires are pretty good it should be able to angle any on almost all terrain and the seat look pretty comfortable it's not a traditional bicycle seat it, to me this bicycle is more built like a moto motorcycle and not a bicycle but as i said you can still pedal with this and the size it comes in one size currently it don't have a mini or a or a plus or whatever or a pro version but it comes with a 32 inch seat height and adjustable angle bars and it, it comes around 225 pound weight limit so a person's a person up to 225 pound can ride this bike which is pretty on um um covers all people who can walk so if you're you're 225 pounds you can definitely ride on this bike and it accommodates for riders between five 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 feet three inches to six feet eight inches so it pretty much covers everybody um everybody um height only for the extremely short peoples and the extremely tall peoples but i guess you could still ride it if you're extremely short but it won't 
be as user friendly for those people but i think it should work and here are their twitter website you can see um they have youtubers already testing out the new bikes here you have i justine which is a tech reviewer she's riding the bike let me pull it up for you here she is riding the bike and you can see the brakes are pretty sharp and she went over this ramp pretty clean like look guys she went over the ramp pretty clean like and she stopped instantly and you can see she's not a professional rider clearly she almost hit over somebody but thanks to this the sharp break she was able to stop you see this guy right here trying to get out of the way and also casey nice that which is a big fan of this bike he posted a picture of the bike so i'm guessing casey nice that will be reviewing this bike or he will be getting one to review or he will be buying one either way and and they announced the new the new the new bike which is what i just went over and here's i just seen twitter page you guys can go follow her thanks sir thanks to her i was able to show you guys someone actually riding this bike right now but i guess in the future you should be see more youtubers riding this bike i think casey and i said ride one dan mace ride one and i think what his name i forgot what his name but another youtuber rides one but it's pretty common and i'm guessing i would get one definitely and if you're not looking to buy a car and want to buy a bike this is definitely this the thing to buy to get to work and from work or get to school and from school you just need to make sure you chain it up because it is pretty much valuable so you don't want to park it like a regular bike outside but that's it for this video guys thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video peace